So, welcome back to the uh, Master Cash Book on Excel. We're going to dive straight into the Chart of Account Setup. So, you click on Chart of Account, this small tab here, or just go straight to the sheet and click. Now, we have Go to Group List. We have the Fixed Assets, Cash and Banks, Receivables and Prepayment, Payables and Accruals, Long-Term Liabilities, Equity, Revenue, Direct Cost and Overhead Cost. Now, while explaining this setup, I will also um, explain what this is for non-accountants. Now, look at the structure. We have on column A, the um, account group. We have fixed assets, which represent um, the group name for all the items on this first um, rows. So we have up to 10, we have up to 15 account codes that can be used for fixed assets. Now we've already um, included some default um, account names. Feel free to remove them if they're not important. We have plant and machineries up to computer equipment. And we have the posting codes for them. So um, for these templates, you will not be posting with these codes. Rather, you will post with a shorter code you know, to uh, make typing um, easier. Instead of typing four digits, you just type one or two digits, depending on your, your, your account uh, name. So, I want to add um, a new one. I'll just type that new one here. Um, before then, we'll look at the chart of account summary. You can see the next sheet here. We have plant, office equipment, up to computer equipment. Just five of them are activated here. We have the account code and their posting number. So, let's add one more. Let's add, for example, land and building. So that will take the account code 1106 and the posting code 55. All right, so let's leave it there. Now you can either choose to click cash and banks or you move straight to just scroll down. You'll see the cash and bank names there. Now we have balances. This is a running balance that shows you every point in time cumulatively how much cash you have paid for each of these asset um, names or codes. So. Once you begin to use the system, um, continuously, over time, you begin to accumulate total cost that you've paid in cash for any of these assets. Let's go down to the cash and banks group. We have 10 um, codes you can be used for that. These are just fictitious banks. You can change them. Now, the idea of Contra, I'll explain that in a different video, uh, is to uh, when you move monies from one bank to another bank for the same business or from bank to petty cash or from cash into bank now you're using this control account to post it i'll demonstrate that in one of the videos that will be made for how to manage um, bank to bank transactions so you can feel free to change all these names to uh, the bank you want to add if you go to your cash your your sort of account summary you will see we have um, one, two, three, four, and five under the cash and bank groups. So you can feel free to add a new one or change the existing one. So we just um, add a new one and call it my bank PLC. So that we assume the code for 1206 and the posting code for 65. And once you are done, you go back, you go down to receivables. We have default account um, codes already and account names, the account codes and their posting numbers. Trade debtors up to prepaid insurance. You can add more account receivables. These are current assets. These are current assets you know that um, are in your chart of accounts. So the first thing you need to understand here is you should mirror this with your existing chart of accounts in your business. So you can actually change all these, but you have only up to 10 codes that can be used for chart of account for the receivables and prepayments that's for the current asset of course you know that cash and banks are part of the current asset also so you feel free to know what you can use here or change here if you don't have any chart of account you can adopt this one i promise you there are standard chart of account that can be used for any sme um, operations now you can you can type a new one uh, let's see if we want to type staff debtors, for example. 
soft depth toss. If you go to your chart of account summary, you will see we have two depth toss up to prepare insurance. There is no um, staff depth toss here. I will show you how to activate this in the next video. Now we'll go down to payables and accruals. These are current liabilities in your balance sheet. Um, trade credit, creditors, accruals, directors, credit account. You can add more here, right? You can um, add other payables, for example, other payables. Or you can just remove all of them and just add your. You can't touch the account codes, you can't touch the posting codes. They are assigned by default. So I've added other payables here. If you go to your sort of accounts um, summary, you will see we don't have other payables here. We only have two creditors up to director's credit account. So we'll continue down to long term liabilities. These are um, um, for like bank loan, private loan, director's loan, whatever it's um, beyond, is due beyond one year. They are called long-term liabilities in your balance sheet. You can add more or you just leave it the way they are. You just change this one to a name. You can even have different banks. Let's say we can even have uh, one of the banks up here. Fine Bank Limited. You can just add one. Fine Bank Limited um, Loan Account. Okay, so you can just add more there. Then we'll go down to equity. This is by default. Paid up capital. You have just five codes for equity. Uh, most SMEs won't have share premium. So these are pretty standard um, names for what what account account names you have under the account group equity. So we'll go down to revenue. We have up to ten uh, revenue accounts that you can use for this cash book. So you can just name this after specific sales or services, or can just call this other um, income, for example. So we have direct cost purchases, logistics. You can have other ones there, let's say direct labor, for example, you can add that one there. Now once you add, it assumes these codes um, for that particular account. We now have the overheads, so we'll have most of the administrative expenses from COVID-19 expenses down to computer accessories. You can have, you can add more up to, let's see, we have up to... Um, 30 account um, codes you can use for overhead. You can change this. You'll be very smart about your actual account. Now, if you have more than um, this list in your actual account, then this template can't help you. You can also contact us and we will modify this template to accommodate um, as many um, of account codes you have in your um, existing organizations. But for this template, we just have 30. Um, um, lines that can be used for the overhead cost. Now we've done this setup, um, very simple to use, not difficult to use. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to activate them because when you enter them here, they are not activated yet in this template. This is just a setup page where you calibrate and set up your sort of account um, system. So thank you for watching. I hope this is useful. Next video, I will show you how to activate and start using this sort of account. Bye.